Hey, happy sunshine family. We're here with another weather update on some of these satellite images. And I made some interesting observations over here on a site called VentuSky. Somebody left that in one of the links or in one of the comments. So let's take a peek. Now what you're seeing here on the screen, I've got it set to show me wind gust speeds. So I wanted to see what are the top wind speeds that we've got going on out here. And in this area that we call Hurricane Maria, uh, 107, oh, I think I saw 109. There's a 108. So those are the top speeds. When we just choose regular wind speeds, oh, 66, of course. Oh, there's a 79, a 78. And this is on VentuSky. Well, let's do a refresh over here of IntelliCast. Wow, that pulled up really quickly. That's about how fast it normally takes. So let's play it. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. It's taking its sweet old time loading up now. There we go. Okay, we've got a very similar observation, guys. We get one, two different peaks. And even where we were getting full-time movement throughout the series of frames in my last video, now we don't. We've got a lot of static clouds across the world on this satellite image. Let's take a look at the Atlantic, see what IntelliCast has going. Okay, and then while that is refreshing itself, we'll go back to, or maybe we won't. Did I freeze? Did my computer freeze? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, okay, there we go. So the other thing I notice, and let's go back to wind gusts. We've got a pretty large area out here off of the Pacific that is moving in a clockwise rotation. The wind speeds are not that heavy right now, like we get into the 20s out here. And this is on gusts. These are the highest winds. So as we come over here, oh, there was 122 I saw, oh, 135. So they're saying, VentuSky is saying that this is getting stronger, it seems like. And they're reporting some 47s, 49, 55. Those are 55 mile an hour winds. But look at this. This up here has got some pretty crazy wind gusts. We're definitely in the 60s. Up oh, there was a 70. Yeah, so we're just about hitting 70 miles an hour for the gust winds in this big cyclone that's 
off of the UK. So the media has been threatening about Jose. Uh, I guess they downgraded that. That's what somebody wrote in one of the comments. I haven't uh, gone and looked at that yet. But we've got Maria here, which Ventus guy is reporting is raging pretty bad. Let's see how Intellicast is doing now. Okay. Oh, look at this. At 8 p.m., oh, so I should tell you what time it is. Out here on the Pacific Coast, it is 6 o'clock, 6.04 p.m. on September 22nd. This says the wind speeds are zero miles an hour, 84 degrees, broken clouds. You yeah, know, this really didn't zoom in that far. There we go, that should be enough. Well, let's take a look at the composite US feed while we're waiting for that to load up. We'll refresh this page. Oh, look, they're starting the radar pulse from the east to the west. Look at that, guys. Amazing. Okay, so these images start at 551 east, I guess, no, central time. 551 central time. Look at that, just bam, bam, bam. And they go to 8.01 central time. This is so coordinated. Gosh, we see this every day. Just about. I wonder how far it'll spread today. See, we got... Oh, did you see that second spike on the right here coming from Houston? Houston sends out these spikes on the radar. This is just... Wow. What a blatant observation. You can't ignore this. These are the different radar transmitters that are all firing. And, and this is... This is like a stadium the size of the continental United States doing the wave, but with their radar. Do you know how much coordination and, and communication you've got to have to have this happen? Yeah, here's the storm that I told you I was looking at earlier in my last video the rapid vapor generators in Nebraska, and I'm assuming elsewhere along the way, have made another storm that's getting into the red here, about ready to cross into Minnesota. And we can see yesterday's storm that they made is just about done. Well, Wyoming's got some weather breaking out. In the last video, the entire state blinked out for a frame or two. Pacific Northwest is pretty dark as far as the radar goes. Oh, look at these plumes just coming up right off North Texas here. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna have to watch those. They roll through Kansas and Oklahoma. Okay, let's uh, head back over to Intellicast. It looks like it's loaded up. 
And when we take away the NASA satellite imagery, we can position this cursor right over an island. And this is Providencialis, uh, zero miles an hour. Let's come down here. Okay, so what was the Grand Turks? Zero miles an hour. So we overlay this. Actually, let's take a look at some of these islands right up here. These are closer to the eye. So my iguana, seven miles an hour and scattered clouds. Uh, these are observations that contradict the official story that we've been given. And that's what my channel's about, making observations that contradict the official story. So I, I just wonder, this is making a beeline right for where this moisture is developing off of Florida. I mean, that's a pretty blatant observation to make. So when we head back over to Ventu Sky, uh, you know, I've done a little bit of research into the Agenda 21 and uh, 2030, and I, I had wondered how, how it was they were going to control people's mass migrations. And we've got, I think, four... Or five I can't remember how many hurricanes we've had just in the past three weeks and now I mean look how big this I'm just gonna call it the UK storm right now if this turns into into a full-blown super cyclonic storm I I just wonder, are, are we looking at the unrolling of some of these UN agenda line item uh, plans? I don't, I don't know, but these are the kinds of questions that I'm asking myself. I mean, if this is man-made here, holy cow. I mean, I, I can't imagine, I can't imagine any of these storms being natural. But look at the size of this. I mean, how many Marias can you fit inside here right now? That's ridiculously huge, guys. I mean, just judging by my eyeball right here, the distance across this, <laughs> I mean, it's, wow, over half of the east-west distance across the continental United States. That's just massive. Uh I don't know what we're looking at here, but uh, it doesn't look good. All right, that's enough for this update here. If you have any love, light, or links for me, send them to lunacy at protonmail.com. I love you guys a lot, and we'll be back soon. Bye-bye.